Good morning everybody. Um, so today I am painting a chest of drawers. Um, it's for my friend, the one I live with. So she's moving to a new place and she asked me to paint one for her. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, using animal paint because that's what she wanted. I personally wanted to use chalk paint of course, but then yeah, so I'm gonna have to respect her wishes. And what you're seeing back there, that mess, yeah, that is called moving. Is cute in this house, but let's get to the fun part. Let's start painting. Um, this is what it looks like currently. Uh, she tried to do the painting herself, clearly, that didn't go well. You can see over there, and yeah. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna sand it a bit, put on some primer, and then try and focus on the walls. And yeah, let us get into it. Okay, so what I've done now is I have removed the, um, the drawers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sand it and then put primer. I am using this Myth and Co 220 grit um, sandpaper. It's red, it's a bit smooth, smoother than the one you would use on your walls. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm done with the sanding, it's a lot smoother, like these things were sticky, they wouldn't come off. So this is the most painful sanding job I've ever done. So I sanded it and then I wiped it, so I'm just going to wait for it to dry a bit. And then once it's dry, I'm going to put on the primer. So the primer I'm using is this Durham Enjoy Universal Undercoat. Um, the reason I bought it is I could have bought uh, wood primer, but then I realized that I want to prime my wall as well. So because of that, I decided to get a universal one. Let's hope it works. It's an animal one. So let's just see how it goes. I'll let you know um, as we go along. So I'm done with the priming, um, as you can see. The frame is fully primed. I primed the sides as well. Um, so that was quick and easy. It looks like it's fine. Um, yeah, my sanding work paid off because wow, it was such a nightmare. But it looks like all is good to go. Okay, so the chest of drawers, the frame is dry. So now I'm about to start painting it. I'm using this small roller. I hope it doesn't take me five hours because it's so tiny. And the paint I'm using is the uh, Fired Earth Non-Drip Animal. So I hope this will be less messy because it says non-drip and it's in the color black. So yeah, let me get straight into it and then we shall see how it goes. Okay, so the first coat is done. Um, Oh shoot, I forgot to paint the bottom, lol. But then yeah, I'm just gonna touch that up. <laughs> but then yeah, um, this is how it's looking. Let me show you the side of it. Um, that is how it's looking. So the paint is going on very well. Okay, so the second coat is done. Um, and we're closer so you can see. It's now fully covered. So I think I just have one more coat to do. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is I'm going to remove the handles um, of the drawers um, and then I'm just going to spray paint them, see how they look with the spray paint and then if I don't like it, I might have to try something different. Okay, so all the little knobs are here um, and I am using this Rustoleum, I think that's what it's called, metallic gold paint, so I hope it looks good, so yeah. Oh, when you spray paint, make sure you do it a bit from a distance. So if you do this, it starts to run. So what you want to avoid is having running uh, paint like that. This is from the previous paint job. So what you will need to do is make sure you hold it just a bit further back and then spray. I know you look like you feel like you're doing nothing, but this is the best way to do it. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand the doors, the drawers, um, because this girl decided she's a pro and she tried to paint it herself. Now look at this mess. So I have to fix it and then I can start painting. I did fix the other one. Let me show you. Fixed it and then I painted it. I accidentally touched it with the gold there. So I just have to put one more coat there. And yeah, we will be golden. It's the progress so far. Um, it looks quite good I'm quite happy with it um, there's the top so yeah I'm just gonna wait for these to dry um, and then I'm gonna put them on and then I'm gonna decide on how I'm gonna trim this because I want to have gold trimmings on it but I still don't know what to do so yeah as you can see there I did that trimming which I actually like it was my first one my first trial and I'm actually quite happy with it I just hate the smudging at the end but you know what first one always goes um, south but anyway um, I'm about to do another one I'm about to do um, this one um, so yeah I will show you exactly how I got it done Okay, so you can see I have taped it off. All of it is taped. So what I'm using is the scalpel knife. Um, I'm using it to do my cutting of the trim. So the only thing, it's very simple. You just put it there. You see where the line is because this came um, as it was. So all I did, all I have to do is do that. Okay, I'm cutting it incorrectly because I'm not concentrating. But you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, just do that all across. And then after that I can start spray painting so I'll show you when I'm done see that I'm done cutting the side so I'm just peeling it um, so it's quite hard to peel because it's so small let's see Yeah, that's the process I follow. I think it's because I don't cut it straight. I have trial and error uh, situations. That's why it keeps on breaking. But essentially, that's what it will look like. And yeah, I'll come back after I am done with doing this and then start where, when I start spray painting. So you can see now I have cut out the, the trimming. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take the spray paint this one I'm still using the same spray paint uh, the metallic gold one so I'm just gonna give it a shake and then simply just the painting yeah that's it so I'm gonna give it a few minutes it doesn't take long to dry so I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I am going to peel off the painting I mean the tape I think I can start peeling it off now actually as you can see there it is there it is and yeah okay let me peel that off and then I'll show you when I'm done and then there you have it I'm done um, some bleeding of the paint and a little bit of the black came off so I'm gonna fix that but yeah that's how I did the trimming <laughs> This is the final product. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm finally done. There it is. Uh, let me show you the side of it. This is what it looks like. Oh, I need to paint that. I didn't see that. I forgot that the uh, tape took that off. But yeah, this is what we accomplished today.